What is up guys, it's Aqualad B03 here coming out to your video review of the FPSC emulator for Android operating system. I'm going to be testing out on my main device the um, AT&T Samsung Infuse 4G. Let's get started. So we're going to go into my app drawer here. <sighs> Scroll over to the F's, or down to the F's rather, and click FPSE. To start off, in order to, um, let me, give me a second, I'm going to quit this ROM. Um, anyway, just use this this uh, emulator. You're going to have to get the SCPH1001 BIOS. Of course, as always, guys, I'm going to have the links to the emulator, free version of the emulator, and the link to the um, BIOS on my description. I'm going to upload both to my Mediafire account if you can download quick access to get them straight to your Android device. Let's get started. I'm going to be loading up Digimon World ROM. Start it up. We have a quick cutscene here. Let's see if I can skip it. There we go. Digimon World, press start. And um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to turn the lights out, get a sharper image. Um, also, in the emulator, you can tilt it sideways to get the controls. You can go into the settings. Let's see. Let's see, go into your settings. You can go to system and um, turn up your the transparency on the controls let's see it's somewhere around here input I'm guessing touch screen transparency you can change the transparency to make it darker lighter clear basically anything I'm gonna be turning these things up to about 40 percent make it easier to see in the dark Let's get started, guys. We're going to eject this and start Digimon World over again. And let's turn the lights out. Focus in again, which makes it easier for the camera. This emulator runs really smooth, guys. It's um, a really good app. I enjoy it playing a few classics on my phone. Especially on some of the newer devices, it runs very nice. So, um, let's just click this start button here and, um, skip this cutscene. Start button. Turn it sideways. Let's start a new game. And again, guys, I'm in the dark, so I can't see these buttons very well, so I'm going to keep it this way. Start slot one, player one. Ah, this brings me back to the days when I was a kid. Watch Digimon and Pokemon. I tell you guys, those were days, and I'm having an epic fail here. Start slot one, player one. Uh, not save. Yes, check a memory card. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna disguise, gonna talk to me, tell me some stuff about who I am, so his name is Gigi Mine. do I have a Digivice, no I don't, he sees I don't, do I have friends, no I'm a loner, <laughs> yeah right, um, okay so what's my name, my name is B, 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 okay, BBB, right? Yeah, that's my name, man. So, BBB, yes, is my name. How many times are you going to ask me that? What's your Digimon's name? AAA. Get started, right? Yes, good name. So, all the questions I have for you. And this starts up a little cutscene. I know you guys want to see some gameplay, so hopefully we can get through this too. So we're right now in a place called File City. And we see a group of Digimon here. And it looks like I'm laid out in the middle of the ground. So I'm obviously not in good shape. As you can see, this ROM is running with no lag. No lag. And... Um, Metal Gear Solid runs the same way 
it's a really good ROM. And the only thing is, is I hate is that I'm using the Cyanogen Mod 7, Cyanogen Mod 7 for um, unofficial build for Infuse. Any gingerbread ROMs out right now do not have HDMI out support. So I, you can play these on your TV as long as you're running stock ROM or another ROM that supports HDMI out. So this ROM does, this app does support HDMI out. So it's a really good app. I'm going to give you the link where you can get it for free. So look into some of these settings here, guys. Um, let's see, settings. I know you guys can't see that very well. Sort of focus in there. System, let's see. We're going to do um, system. You've got load your BIOS. I've already done that. All it does is you locate where you got it, wherever on your SD or internal storage. You can restore your files, set things back to normal. And looks like I just did that, so I screwed up. But um, you can't have cheat support. I don't really use cheats because cheaters go nowhere except they win the game faster than me. So, got your different, um, you know, different um, settings and stuff as far as speeding up the system, which personally I don't think you need to do because it runs perfect for me. It does. So after that, we're. Um, you know, back to the ROM. Let's try to there go crispin that up a little bit. Uh, again, I'm just doing this. Only thing I wish this app had was a joystick, like the um, N64 emulator. But really, the original PlayStation One did not have a joystick, so why should the emulator? Again, this runs pretty good, guys. I really enjoy it. Especially playing old school games like Microsoft One, Final Fantasy Seven, really good classic game.